Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a new book today. This one is called Into the Wild by Daisy Fletcher. Um, it is a beautiful book. It is kind of like the Bertopia one that I have already showed you. Um, here is the back of the book. This is what the spine looks upside down. This is what the spine looks like. Oh, go ahead, right? <laughs> I had a rough day today, y'all. Um, it's got really pretty gold foiling. This book is large. It's 12 and a quarter by 9 and a quarter. It is really big, but it's so pretty. And it's high quality paper. Really nice cardstock. Um, just like Bartopia, she puts a key in the back of the book. So you can come and check out um, the pages that you would like to do. And say I want to do this page. I just come and I look at it and I see that it's a, a, a red wolf, a fox, a gray wolf. Plants include fox, glove, bluebell, blah, blah, blah. But you can go look these up. Go Google them and you can see what colors they are. And color them true to life. Or you could just um, color them however you want. You don't have to color this the color it's supposed to be. You can color them purple. It's your book. Don't care. So, that being said, well, let me back this up a little bit. Let me start flipping. It, they are double-sided, non-perforated. They are um, like this vanilla cream colored background. The cardstock is really, really nice. Good quality. Um... This one is a little different from the Bertopia, and I'll show you when we um, get to those pictures, the backgrounds. Lots of beautiful animals and flowers in this book. Um, my daughter started coloring this one, and I started on the frog page. This is um, ink tense for both of these watercolors. And, I mean, you can't see them through the other uh, side at all. They didn't buckle. It's still flat, really pretty, um, wonderful paper. So, back it up just a little. I love these two pages. Um, this fighting fish. I'm going to color this soon. I love it. I love this chipmunk. I think this is one of my favorite picks in the book. I just absolutely love the way she put this together. It is just, just, just beautiful to me. And I'm definitely going to watercolor that picture. The pretty bouquet with the fox, little rabbit. This is what I mean about the difference. Um, in this book, they have a lot of the backgrounds with this grungy black. Um, grungy black looking backgrounds which I really really like um, in parts of the books so I, I like how that looks it'll be really pretty when everything's colored in against that black and cream background I'm thinking. love it I've seen some beautiful pictures come out of um, Instagram and Pinterest from this book over the years and I'm just so glad to finally have it like this. This is so beautiful. Let me back up just a little so you guys can see the whole thing. It's just such a big book. I'm trying to get up close pictures. It's a little difficult when it's so large like that. This is the key, um, the page with the key that we were looking at. The snake. I almost missed the snake the first time I went through. I love the composition of this with the really large mushrooms. They kind of look like trees against the um, size of the animals and the butterflies and things. Really cool. It's like a wonderland. This is nice too with that grungy black background. I 
But unlike Bertopia, she does not do a lot of um, coloring in this one. The first, the her other book, she colored in parts of the picture, and you could fill it in or whatever, just to give you like um. It said it was just to give you inspiration, so I think it was pretty. These are gorgeous. This one is not my favorite, just because of the weird cactus and. I don't know. Just not my favorite one. This one, I love both of these. These are just really, the composition of them, I, I just think it's stunning. I absolutely love this page. Pages. This is a really nice page, too. I want to see what that is called. So we just go to the key, and it's a clouded leopard and cherry blossom. Nice. I love that you're standing up on that one. Beautiful. This one is a little weird to me because it looks like this cat is like clip art almost. I'm not sure. I like this one. Oh, this horse with the design. Isn't that pretty? And these. This book has a surprise in it, unlike um, Bertopia. This one's got a surprise. It's a four-page spread. When you get to the bug page, it opens up like that. Let me scoot it over a little bit so we can see the whole thing. This is the uh, left side. And then go to the other side. Unicorns, I love them. Just such a beautiful, beautiful picture. I love the unicorns and how she drew flowers on them and stuff. Really, really nice. Get you to see the whole thing. Isn't that pretty? And then back to the key pages. And after you get through the key pages, that's the end. And back to the end of the book. Oh, I highly recommend this book. I think it is so beautiful. The colors on the front are really, really pretty. This fox is gorgeous. Um, I can't say enough about this book. I love both of her books. So, yeah, check them out. I'll post a link where you can purchase it. If you have any questions, let me know and put them down at the bottom. If you have not subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up for me. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. See you soon. Bye-bye.